How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Young and old. <laughs> uh, what you're looking at is this is a 10-pound Parrot rifle. When I say rifle, what's that mean? Got rifling in the barrel. What that is is it spins the bullet. And when you spin the shell, it'll go twice as far and three times more accurately. In baseball, it's like uh, a smooth bore uh, is like a knuckleball. How does a knuckleball fly? It doesn't turn, it just goes like this. And to show you that it's, that it's bad is the catcher that's catching it will have a catcher's mitt twice as big as the normal. Why? He doesn't know where it's going. And the pitcher who threw it didn't know where it's going, and you hope the hell the batter doesn't know where it's going. Yeah, I'll the other stuff I so, <clears throat> we, we uh, have a rifle. Now what that does is it lets you have a range table, a table of fire. This is what they'd give, it would be in the box for people, and what it does is it shows you the elevation in degrees, type of ammunition, the range, time of flight. Why would you care about time of flight? Exploding shells. Huh? Exploding shells. All right. What about the exploding shells? You need them to explode where you need them. All right. Where do you want to get to? Over the enemy. Over the enemy. That's right. Time of flight is for exploding them over top. If you explode a shell and it hits on the ground, you get the 60 degree cone. But when you explode around in the air, it's 360, 360, all the shrapnel, all the stuff inside of it, go flying out and kill your fellow man. We're very good at that. Anyways, that's, that's its advantage. And by the way, anything that goes up, you only, you only, you only, paid, half a, you only paid attention to half of the lesson. Reason is, is not only does it come down, but what stops it from going on into space? Gravity. Gravity. So what it does is it goes up in the air until it stops dead, turns around, and starts back down. Well, it accelerates, and when it passes the spot it started up, it'll be going at the same velocity in the opposite direction of going down. So you're you're actually shelling your fellow man with with attitude. Right? And they say the efficacy of this, that's how they explode nuclear weapons. About ten thousand feet off. Anybody know why? Besides just the, the normal things? Actually get your maximum range for maximum damage. And the other thing is, the weakest part of any building is, is the roof. Okay. I got one little problem. There's, there's two lines missing from this table. And it should say 6,500 yards at 32 degrees. What's 6,500 yards and miles? Round up to 2,000. <laughs> well, it's 3.4, or if you if you round it up, it's 3.1. That's fine. But there is, uh, I said it had to be at 32 degrees. Uh, show them the elevation screw. The elevation screw on this gun right there only gives you 7 degrees. How do you get the other 25? Raise the wheels. There's only one small problem. That's a Chinese cannon. It weighs Wong Tong. <laughs> you can't raise the wheels, but if you had a ship that had to go under a bridge, and you can't raise the bridge, what do you do? No, you don't saw the mast. Lower the water. Dig a hole. That's what gives you that 32 degrees. Now, something that's missing on that cannon that you, you see on modern artillery, uh, this is prior to when they had all the satellites on is it has no recoil device on it. Its only recoil device is when it fires a shell, is to roll backwards 8 to 10 feet. You happen to be standing behind the wheels, and it's not a good thing. Flat stand. So, would I, besides digging a hole, what do I have to do? I have to dig a slot. Now we're gonna we're just gonna go through the steps that it takes to fire and some more cannon. Alright. Tend the vent. Now, if you look at him, he's got a he's got a piece of leather on his thumb. And to show that we spare no expense, we 
put another piece of leather on top of that. So he's got two, two layers. And what he's doing is he's putting it over the, uh, the vent, which is where we'll put the primer to set the gun, to set the gun off. Okay. Now, any of you were downstairs yet? If you look at the ammunition, what's what's on the back of that ammunition? Well, what's it what's it in? A canvas bag. So if you fired this before, what do you think still in the tube? Burning pieces of canvas. Now, if you slap the new round on on top of it, it's only your your uh, weight and aerodynamic shape that will tell you how far you'll go before you hit the ground. If you're the guy pushing it in, how to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing that looks like something for combat proctology. And we're going to worm out or grab the pieces of the canvas. Worm.
Stretch your arm out. Stretch your arm oh, stretch my arm out. Stretch, 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 stretch. Get all the slack out of it. 